What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Happy Sunday. Guys, we're still in the hotel. About to check out here soon. Um, this hotel is nice. Definitely a nice hotel. But the room, very dark. It's not a lot of lighting. This is the only lighting I'm getting right here. From this little section, the little coffee section. I guess like the little desk section, you'll get some light. I guess you could get some light over here, too. I guess we could have turned on more lights. But just to give you a different little room tour real quick. <laughs> Cause I don't know what all I did last night with the room tour, but yes, uh, the bathroom was really, really nice. Y'all already seen the bathroom. Of course, y'all seen that, y'all seen me. The shower was really nice. I just got out of the shower. Um, the closet is really nice though. If you, you know, are a closet user, really nice with the extra bedding stuff because the couch turns into a bed. So you could have had like a few folks up in here, sleeping up in here. Here goes the view. Ain't really no view all like that, you know, of Independence, Ohio. But it's like right next to Cleveland, Ohio, okay? Like we were really literally next door to uh, downtown. So, yeah, uh, we better get out of here. I'm about to hit up. Yeah, so we better get out of here. We're going to go over to Saks. They got a Saks uh, Fifth Ave that is open on Sundays. Ours in Columbus is not open on a Sunday. So... We're going to slide over there, um, do some Christmas shopping. Probably the, also look around at the mall. Who knows? Because we're going to be in the mall. Uh, last night, I'm so sorry. I ended up going live. And both of those videos got copyright claims on it. <laughs> at first, they let me monetize them for a quick second. And then I woke up this morning to e emails and they was copyright. I'm like, y'all knew that. In the first time, the first time, uh, we went to the comedy show. We seen Michael Blackson last night and some other comedians. It was mad hilarious. But what was so funny is I ended up running into this guy that I went to college with. His name was um, TJ. It's so crazy that I ran into him. Well, he's from Cleveland, but it's still like what a small world. Like I really cannot believe we ran into each other. That's crazy. Uh, he used to kick it with my same type of people I used to kick it with. So we was like almost in the same clique, you know, like he was real quiet and shy. He used to kick it with this one girl that was, I was cool with that I lived next door to. They was like booed up. Okay. <laughs> All the time. We were like, oh, there they go together. But that was just so crazy that I seen him. I'm finishing up getting myself together real quick though. Um. I put on some YSL, some Lebre, one of my favorites, right here. Not too much though, you know. I try to save a little bit. Mm, yeah, that smells real good though. Mm, smell like money. I hope you're having a great Sunday thus far. It's early though, so y'all just got up. I gotta edit tomorrow's. I mean yesterday's video because that's gonna be a super duper 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 quick edit because I don't know what all of us doing um then i got other videos to edit during the week but vlogmas is actually almost over y'all we just got one more week of vlogmas one more week of everyday videos which i don't mind an everyday video don't get me wrong i don't mind an everyday video but it's like once vlogmas is over it will take pressure off of you like whoo i did it i did it but did it show, you know what I'm saying? Like with the view count, no, my view count really ain't. My view count went up a little bit when it came to Vlogmas, but I'm like, I needed to strike to them thousands of views. You know what I'm saying? Um, yesterday, Tez won gift cards. Did I post a note? It was on my, my live video yesterday. He ended up, they was doing like this little music thing where, you know, you stop the song and then you gotta sing the rest of the song basically or sing some of the lyrics. Tez got that anthem, the uh, the player's anthem. Island, witness all around me true, but I'm no That's island, right. peninsula, maybe. Make no sense, I'm no crazy. Took up all this pussy cat that's in my lap, no looking back spaceships. 
Don't come and quit. We'll rip you in as they dip as quick as they can. The atmosphere is now wet. I'm so like a pimp. I'm glad it's nice. So the light from the sun would not burn me on my bones when I shoot the ball. I just want the rules. Like a plane out the wall. I plot the yellow too soon. Don't do it. Reconsider. Reason little. Chore on the subject. You sure? Fuck it. You know we got your back like Cairo Pack. Take it, your chick, do you dirty? We wipe a ass out of the detergent. Now hurry, hurry, go to the altar. Then it will you pimp a pimp. Remember what I told you, keep your heart through stacks. They don't have to stop me. So man, keep your heart through stacks. Keep your heart. Man, these girls are smart through stacks. These girls are smart. Play your part. Yeah, that's my heart! Let's go, baby! 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 let us go baby Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going! Let's go! MJ, uh, what is it? Eight ball? Is it M who is it? Y'all know who I'm talking about. That player's anthem, okay? Um everybody's favorite, Pepsi. Yeah, he was in it. Um Outcast, you know, all them. Uh-huh. So he knows that song by heart. He actually that Tess knows every song just about, okay? When I say gospel music, uh Christ, uh rap music, R B music, country music, he knows just about every song, okay? Uh, he needs to be on a game show for real. But with him knowing the lyrics or whatever, he had the crowd going wild. Yeah, so he ended up <laughs> Winning these gift cards, what did he get? 150, so he was rocking the crowd, okay? And they played this other game, uh, Family Feud. They didn't win that one, though. But it has some really good prizes as well. I'm like, this is a really nice company pick, uh, what is it? Uh, Christmas party. I'm like, I wish our job had something like that. But then I thought about it, I'm like, would I go if my job had something like that? <laughs> I'm so anti-social, like, when it comes to my job, because, you know, I guess, I think this is what it is. So, when you work for, like, a black agency, you know what I'm saying, African-American agency, it's a little more, your people, you feel more free a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, if you're working for the white man, a corporation, you can't really be yourself like that, you know? It's, yes, no, I don't, no, uh, 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 no, uh, yeah, thank you, you feel me, like, what? So... That's what I felt it is. Like, if I work for one of those, because my best friend, Dana, she works for a nonprofit, you know, so she's all the, always at their Christmas parties because they're lit, having fun, and enjoying themsel themselves. You feel me? Like, who they are. But when you work for the white man, that ain't going to happen. I got my herb bar in my little bag. I had to take my herb bar with me, guys. Yes, yes. And I said, this bag really do come in handy if you don't have, like, a little soap dish or whatever. But... Let me just put it in this bag as well because I do not want it to mess up while I'm on my way home. But it was a great time. We really had fun. That, Like I said, that comedy show was everything, like, top notch. Like, okay, y'all here getting comedy shows? Michael Blackson? Michael Blackson was hilarious, though. He He's just a funny guy with his shiny red suit. <laughs> This suit was so shiny, and them butt tucks was on them uh, pants. I'm like, oh, them pants is too tight, okay? Them pants was tight. I'm trying to stuff this little bag so I could pack up and get going. Then I'm sorry because I only got this coat right here. I don't have my actual real deal coat, and it snowed. Of course, it was snow out in Cleveland, as always. It always be snowing out here. That's why I couldn't live this way. It's just too much snow. In Akron, mm -mm, I got family in Akron. I barely go and visit them. <laughs> It'd just be a long ride. But honestly, this ride was not long. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was because Tez was hitting, hitting it on the freeway or what. I put it in my little bag as well. What This bag was from um, Urban Outfitters. 
Yeah. So, I guess like a shirt or a hoodie came in there. But you can use it as an actual bag. And guess who's doing that? Me. That's right. I am. Put that down there. All right, guys. So, I'm going to pick y'all back up when I got to call um, Bob Evans so I can get me a roast beef. A roast. A roast pot hash or something like that. I don't know. Y'all, I'll show it to y'all. All right, so I'm gonna catch y'all after I get done packing. Right, so we just now left out of Jack's Deli and Restaurant. I had a five point, no, four point five star rating. So we compared that to this other place that was called like Sauce. Let me see if y'all sit up here. Yeah, y'all sit up here. Let me see if y'all sit right here. Let me just sit y'all right here for now. So I can put some hand sanitizer on. You want some hand sanitizer? This is my corned beef uh, sandwich that I got. What is it? Uh, a uh, Reuben. That's what it's called. I ended up getting a Reuben. I love me a good Reuben. I am so much like my dad. <laughs> this is something that he would definitely have gotten. Dude was like, it took you that long to, to say that's what you wanted. I'm like, I had to think about it. All right, come on. Let me see. All right, let me let me taste this Reuben from Jack's Deli. place gave me like belly vibes like mm -hmm. you know how you go in and like um like brown bag got like little daily vibes but it ain't the same like that. yeah yeah that's like a real deal yeah. mm -hmm. maybe like maybe it's like big city yeah like a chicago yeah. it's giving me a chicago vibe for sure all right y'all should be able to see me from there this food is so good. Plus, I was so hungry because I haven't eaten all day. It is, uh, what, 137? And I had nothing to eat. They gave just a little bit of uh, pasta salad, macaroni salad, or macaroni salad. Okay, I've got potato salad. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This um, potato salad, I mean, this macaroni salad, it's probably the best that I ever had. Mmm. It's so good and sweet. I gotta try to find my pop. Cause I want some water, but I also want my pop. Yeah, so we are about to head back home. Can't wait, so we go pick up my babies. Go pick up my babies, but it was a nice little getaway, a nice little time that we had. It was like a quick date night weekend, you know, hopping over to Cleveland for a Christmas party. And I did not know they was going to have that comedy show. So that was, like I said, super dope. Let me go ahead and taste this pickle. This is like a real deal pickle. That's not bad. You can definitely tell it's a, cu a cucumber that they're turning into a pickle. Anyway, yeah, yeah. it ain't bad, but mm -mm. that ain't the taste I'm going for. Give me some ranch. If I had some ranch to dip, it, to dip that in, then that ranch would be on point. Mmm. Or that pickle would be on point. Anyway. So, like I said, it was definitely a good time. I definitely enjoyed myself. I'm glad I was able to do this. Now, I'm back to work tomorrow. 
Get into this Reuben. Let me turn around. Get into that corned beef. It's just so good. <laughs> anyway, we just left out of uh, Saks. We got you a lot of uh, little snacks. Mm -hmm. Water. Did you even get your chips? I just got some chips. No, I'm saying from the thing, because he was like, you're supposed to get your chips down here. No, I, don't think they, I don't think they charge. You're supposed to order it at the at the register, he said. Mm. But when I went down there, it was $4 for it. Uh, I'm like, I'm just getting it. It's not from the store. That macaroni salad was good. It was the best macaroni salad I have ever eaten. It was nice and sweet. Like the sweet was just right. So I, I hope I could taste some of your potato salad. Did I get to taste some of your macaroni salad? <laughs> and I knew as soon as I asked that, that that was gonna be said. So you just went in there and tasted it anyway? No, I didn't. I didn't eat it. You can tell I ain't know. Sure. I'm glad mine is warm. Sauce the city. Mine's right there. I can see why this got 4.5. It's more, and plus with the views, it got way more views. But. I feel like uh, it's because. They're well known. They've been there for a while. I'm getting full already. All right, guys, I'm back. So I'm about to walk up in Coles. See what they got. I don't lost a finger now. <laughs> oh well, it's time for me to pop these bad boys off. Let's go in Coles and see what they got. <laughs> Good. 
I actually have now I think one, two more people to shop for and I'm done. So I'm gonna try to shop online tonight so that I can uh, get it delivered before Christmas, hopefully. Uh, also, Tess, he ended up buying me a um, Marc Jacobs tote bag. Let me show you. So I got back home, but I got so much stuff to do uh, from being out of town. But yeah, so when we were at Cleveland's mall where they had the Saks Fifth, um, one thing is that they stay open on Sundays. Ours don't. Get up, Capri. They also have kids' clothes in there, which is nice. Um, ours don't have any kids' clothes over there. And they got like Gucci, Dior, all that type of stuff in there. And ours don't carry that either. So their Saks Fifth is killing our Saks Fifth for sure. So another Christmas gift that Tez got me, he told me I could pick a purse, so I picked a purse. So it was a hard decision because there were so many that I wanted, but I ended up getting this one right here. This is the tote, Mark Jacob. This is the mini, no, this is the medium size. Yeah, I don't know what actual size it is, but I think this is like the medium tote size or whatever. But it is so cute. I probably do like a unboxing or whatever like that. Well, you know, to see, cause I haven't even looked in the inside or anything, but it also provided, of course, a bag, but strap. Yeah, so I'm gonna look in the inside and really get into it, probably do like an unboxing or whatever like that. That's what I will probably do and what's inside my Mark Jacobs bag. So shout out to my husband for spoiling me, okay? He got me the Versace shades, he got me the tote bag, and then he also said that he was also still gonna get my uh, Yeezy 700, so I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, we kind of did it up on each other for this Christmas. Um, but right now I'm making dinner, it's eight o'clock. I'm trying to straighten up this kitchen where I can. But, yeah. I also gotta edit. I don't even know what vlog. I think Friday's vlog. I'm so behind on editing, so I gotta edit. So I got a lot to do. I really didn't capture too much today, guys. Like I said, it was a busy day. We was on the road, and now we're here. And I'm trying to get into the swing of things, get back into mommyhood, and try to cook us some dinner. I'm making a whole chicken in the air fryer. I'm gonna do some green beans and some potatoes and gravy, and that's gonna be dinner tonight, okay? But I'm trying to get myself all together and prepared because I gotta go back to work tomorrow. And I know with me being off work for a whole week, it's gonna be a busy, busy week for me. But the good thing is I'm gotta go to work tomorrow, but I'm off on Tuesday, then I go back on Wednesday, off on Thursday, so, and Friday. But guys, I'm sorry that this vlog was super duper short. I would show y'all what I got from Kohl's, but I don't want nobody to see what I got because they may be watching my videos. But y'all see what Ted's got me. Ooh, yes, this is going to look amazing. So really I gotta get me some bomb boots. I gotta get me a bomb coat. I just gotta get me some bomb stuff. And this is not gonna be my first and only Mark Jacobs. I actually seen a few others that I will be getting, but I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself after the holidays. I might give myself a little birthday gift or whatnot. But I did get myself a Christmas gift. The things that I ended up buying myself for Christmas is I got a new pair of glasses, uh, seeing glasses, okay? I definitely need a new pair. So I definitely wanted a new pair of frames. So I went to, um, what is that? Z, Z Goggle or something like that. Went there, got some glasses off of there. Stop. Uh, what else did I get? Is that the only thing I got myself? I think for now. I think for now, okay? I'm, I'm thinking for now. I can't really remember, but yeah. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all rocking and rolling with your girl. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Share me out. Subscribe if you see yourself coming back. Hit that notification bell so when I drop a new video, you already know. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.